So my friend was venting to me about how lately he's just been really suicidal and depressed and how he kind of just wishes he was dead. And then he started to go off on a tangent about how girls with bellies shouldn't wear crop tops. And honestly, I kind of have to agree with him on the part where he said that he wished he was dead. Because bitch, what the fuck is you talking about? Don't wear a crop top because you got to bitch. Wear that motherfucking crop top. Show me that belly. Show me that stomach. Show me them scratch marks. I want to see it all, bitch. You beautiful, bitch. Show me that shit. The fuck? Ladies, did you know that pads, tampons, and menstrual items are taxed as luxury goods? Oh, how is anything that comes with a period, whether that be bleeding, cramping, weight gain, acne, or mood swings, luxurious? Oh. And so he says he respects women. Cute. But does he respect trans women or disabled women? What about plus size women or women of color? What about pronouns? Oh, even self-proclaimed hoes deserve respect. But let me get this straight so I don't sound crazy. A girl can smash mash a hundred random dudes in a year, yet only have one full-term pregnancy, while a guy can smash mash a hundred random women and have a hundred full-term pregnancies? Oh, and we're talking about regulating women? Or ladies, why is it when you bring up feminism to most men, the first thing they bring up is being able to hit you back? Oh, not pay disparities, reproductive rights, or representation in politics. Oh, the right to hit you back. It's all the people that say they don't like abortions. Oh, just ignore them just like you ignore kids in foster care. And I'll humor you. If she was asking for it, why couldn't you? Damn, girl. Baby got back. Oh my god, you're so sweet. Oh, I'm gonna cry. No, literally, all you have is back. <gasps> why would you say that? Being a fat woman married to a straight-sized man who's very good-looking, story time. Now, if you follow me, you know you don't know what my husband looks like, and if you don't, don't waste your time scrolling. He's a very private person, and I respect that by him not being on my socials. But trust me when I say he is chef's kiss. Anyways, we're on a plane back from Florida. We're sitting together holding hands with our hands with our wedding rings on. And these girls in the seat across from us kept looking at my husband. They would scroll through their phone, look at my husband, scroll through their phone, look at my husband, scroll through their phone, look at my husband. And because I'm a snoop and I was getting a little pissed off, I looked at what was on their phone. It was Tinder. They would get to a profile of someone that looked like my husband, trying to see if my husband who was holding my hand was on Tinder. Because of course, why would he be with me? I'm just a gorgeous fat girl that's gonna be a lawyer that's been to 24 countries. <laughs> we can ride the time waste together exploring our memories. Tell me, are you with me? Are you with me tonight? Are you with me? Are you with me tonight? worst thing that a guy said to you that in his mind was a compliment so with me being a plus size person my whole life there are so many stories to choose from but this one actually happened about three years ago so i was with this guy and he was laying his head on my butt like it was a pillow because people like doing that i have a big butt and i get that but anyways he turns to me and he says I love your body. It is just so soft and, and big and comfy. I just love it. And I'm not offended. I'm just like, oh, thank you. It is, it is all those things and it, it's nice. But this guy proceeds to say, it's just, it's, it's, it's like you're a big couch. And I'm like, did this motherfucker just call me a couch? What's a kabuchi? This is my booty. What is even a kabuchi? Is that a coochie and a booty? You're sick. You're sick. Not a kabuchi. I had so many cute outfits planned for this year that I couldn't wear. So I just wanted to show you. See this? I love it. I couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Then there's this. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. And this was supposed to be my cute costume, but no. I just want to know what realm you scary bitches live in where you think that because I'm fat, I could not get a man. 
Don't even look at my body, bitch. Look at my face. I am cute, okay? Regardless. <laughs> I am fat. I am fat. Obese. Obesity. I am fat. What? You fuckers. You fuckers. You motherfucker, I will ring hellfire upon you! Hi guys, how do you tell a woman that you are concerned about her weight and as a virtue of that fact her health without coming across as a bit of a dick? I know this is a sensitive topic, so I'm going to help you navigate these tricky waters with very simple steps. The first step is to talk. To a university recruiter, tell them that you're interested in becoming a doctor. Take the time to study medicine for seven years, after which point you open your own private practice as a well-established member of your field. Following that, when a woman books a consultation with you citing concerns pertaining to her weight, you may then use your seven years of experience in what is now literally your business to give her the best advice you can as a medical practitioner. And if that sounds like hard work, you can always just shut the fuck up. Hi guys, how do you tell a woman that you are concerned about her weight and as a virtue of that fact her health without coming across as a bit of a dick? I know this is a sensitive topic, so I'm going to help you navigate these tricky waters with very simple steps. The first step is to talk. To a university recruiter, tell them that you're interested in becoming a doctor. Take the time to study medicine for seven years, after which point you open your own private practice as a well-established member of your field. Following that, when a woman books a consultation with you citing concerns pertaining to her weight, you may then use your seven years of experience in what is now literally your business to give her the best advice you can as a medical practitioner. And if that sounds like hard work, you can always just shut the fuck up. I'm a size 14, 16, and I'm too skinny for the plus size girls, but I'm too fat for the skinny girls. And everyone is about body positivity, but neither of those groups will accept me. So that has left me in an enraged state of body dysmorphia, and I don't know what to do. Okay, I have to tell you guys the funniest story. So today I went to Publix, and I was going to get a pub sub. And the guy in front of me was ordering his sandwich, but the guy that was making a sandwich kept looking back at me. And I was like, he is so cute. Like maybe he thinks i'm cute because he kept looking at me so i'm standing like this and i was wearing my scrubs and i had the shirt underneath and i'm standing like this and now it's my turn and i go up there to order my food and he's like okay like i'll just carry this up to the front for you and i was like thank you okay so he walks around the corner and he's still holding my sandwich and i was like i can grab it and he looks at me and he takes a step back and he's like, ma'am, I didn't think you had arms. <laughs> so this whole time I'm thinking he thinks I'm cute, but really he just doesn't think I have arms. <laughs> well, I just want to let my man know. Fuck. Damn, I ain't got no man. But <laughs> what I want to let a man know who knows what he's doing with a big girl. That if I don't get no licky, licky, sucky, sucky on my birthday. <laughs> It's gonna be an issue.